Welcome all to the next series on Learn Before You Solve. This video will help you in solving a particular problem on diffusion capacitance model of mass transistor. And the first part of the video has covered the theoretical aspects of CV characteristics of mass transistor, which has included the gate capacitance model, overlap capacitance model, and the diffusion model of mass transistor. The link is provided below in the description box. The problem statement is to calculate the diffusion parasitic of the drain of a unit sized contacted NMOS transistor in a 65 nanometer process with when the drain is at 0 volt and again at VDD equal to 1 volt. And the unit sized contact is given as 4 cross 5 lambda. Assume that substrate is grounded and the diffusion region conforms to the design rules with lambda equal to 25 nanometer. The transistor characteristics are given which shows Cj equal to 1.2 femtofarad per micrometer squared and Mj equal to 0.33. Cj SW is 0.1 femtofarad per micrometer. Cj SWG is 0.36 femtofarad per micrometer and the other grading coefficients for sidewall and the sidewall capacitance of in common to the gate and the channel is given as 0.1 and psi naught which is the built in potential is given as 0.7 volt at room temperature. The given data is shown here with all the unit size contacts psi naught lambda and uh, cj mj cj sw mj sw swg and mj swg all are given. Uh, the explanations for each and everything is given in the first part of the video and the formulas for each and everything is also specified in the first part of the video. Now we will straight away take those formulas from the first part of the video and we will try to find out what is that drain to bulk parasitic capacitance. The general formula for finding out the drain to bulk capacitance is area into Cj Bd plus Ps into Cj Bw. So this is what we need to find out and before that we should know these two parameters which are area and the perimeter. To first calculate the area we know that area is nothing but D dot W from the formula where D is nothing but the length of the bottom part of the source or the drain. Here we are talking about drain to bulk capacitance. So it is the bottom portion of bottom length of the drain. So suppose we consider this as the drain region. This is the bottom portion. So this we have considered as D and this one the width is considered as W. So D dot W will give us the area of drain to bulk capacitance. So for that we have the unit size contact given so which is 4 cross 5 lambda so this we will consider as this is 4 cross 5 in terms of lambda so like that we should consider now we will substitute that here and we have 5 lambda into width we will consider as 4 lambda so it is lambda is given lambda is 25 nanometer so therefore it is 5 into 4 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 9 the whole square. So this will give us the answer of 0 0.0125 micrometer square. So this is the area that we are going to keep for this CDB. Now to calculate the perimeter we will first consider the drain region like this. And this will give you the idea of what is this portion. This portion we are going to consider as D. And the top portion of the drain is also considered as D. And the side walls, this is side wall facing the channel and in contact with gate. This is that sidewall and this sidewall width is going to be W and similarly this sidewall we will have 
and that width is also going to be W. To calculate the perimeter, we will look into all the four sides, but basically here for this capacitance model of diffusion, we are going to consider the perimeter for first these three regions and then we are going to find out separately for this side wall which is facing the channel and the gate okay so then my perimeter formula for the first portion this we are going to split it in terms of two portions one is these three portions then we are going to do separately for this side wall which is facing in uh, common with the channel and the gate so now we will write the formula for perimeter so where we are going to calculate the perimeter which is denoted as ps in the formula so which we are going to write it in terms of two sections for the first section it is going to be 2 times d because we have d plus d 2d we will write separately and then we have this width plus the width of the side wall which is facing the channel and in contact with the gate so this side wall we are going to do it separately okay because the dimensions are and the formula that we are going to calculate for the channel junction capacitance which is facing the channel and the gate is going to be little different so therefore from the initial point of view itself we will calculate this perimeter separately for the side wall which is facing the channel and which is in contact with the gate so now 2d it is 2 into 5 lambda plus w is 4 lambda and for this we will take it separately as 4 lambda we will not add with this this both we will add okay so now it is 2 into 5 lambda lambda we have already as 25 nanometer so it is going to be 0 0.25 plus 0.1 micrometer for lambda and this we can add and separately we have this 0.1 micrometer which is for the side wall which is facing the channel and therefore my PS perimeter will be 0.35 micrometer along with 0.1 micrometer for the side wall of the source facing the channel. Hope this is clear. Then we will move on for the actual calculations of the diffusion capacitance. Now to start with we are at 0 bias and then we will have to proceed for VDD at 1 volt again. So now to start with 0 bias, at 0 bias in the previous part of the video itself I have just explained that CJBD which is the junction capacitance between your body and drain terminal which is uh, the drain uh, means we are going to talk about the bottom part of the drain cjbd is equal to cj at zero bias so this is going to be femtofarad per micrometer square because the original formula you can refer to the previous video this was cj into 1 plus vsb by synot into minus mj since this biasing portion is not there because at zero bias this is neglected we have this cjbd is equal to cj alone so similarly we will write for the other uh, capacitance also cjbd side wall capacitance it is cjsw and that is given as 0.1 femtofarad per micrometer and CJBDSWG, G is in common with gate, this is CJSW, the second side wall, which is given separately, this is given separately, right, therefore it is femtofarad per micrometer. And now we will calculate what is this CDB at 0 volt. We know the formula for calculating the drain to bulk capacitance as 
area into cj bd plus perimeter into cj bd sw separately and since we are considering this side wall which is common to the gate and the channel that we are writing it separately because we have calculated the perimeter also separately and the capacitance are also given separately so we cannot neglect that that's all now we will just uh, substitute the area area is 0 0.0125 micrometer square we had that into cjbd is 1.2 fem to farad per micrometer square plus perimeter we have calculated already for this side wall alone it is 0.35 micrometer into 0.1 femtofarad per micrometer plus the other side wall is there right which is in common so for that it is 0.1 micrometer which we have calculated in the previous slide and this is given as 0.36 femtofarad per micrometer so when you do all these calculations your micrometers will get cancelled so we will get the final output of cdb equal to 0.086 femtofarad this is at zero bias now we will start for substituting for uh, the drain voltage of 1 volt now we will know that cdb at 1 volt the formula will not change anyway it is going to be as into cjbd plus perimeter into cjbd sw and then we have the perimeter for the separate side wall cjbd swg we will first calculate this area into cjbd separately this is equal to area is 0 0.0125 micrometer square and we have cjbd as cj into 1 plus vsd source to drain and here it is dd which is given as 1 volt and mj now we will substitute the values so it is 0 0.0125 micrometer square into cj is 1.2 femtofarad per micrometer square into 1 plus vsd is 1 psi naught is 0 0.7 and mj is minus 0 0.33 so this gets cancelled and the final answer will be 0 0.0192 femtofarad so this is our as into cjbd now we will calculate perimeter into cjbd sw plus PS into CJ BD SWG and this we know the values it was 0.35 micrometer into CJ SW into 1 plus I will straight away substitute the values minus MJ SW which is point 1 plus we have ps of the side wall which is facing the gate and the channel is 0 0.1 micrometer into cj swg into 1 plus 1 by 0.7 the same uh, uh, mj swg was given as mj sw so we will take these things in common so we will be getting as 0.35 micrometer 
into CGSWS 0.1 femtofarad per micrometer and then what we have is let us group this plus we have 0.1 micrometer into CJSWG which is 0.36 femtofarad per micrometer and then we have the common term as 1 plus 1 by 0.7 per minus 0.1 so now the answer for this will be 0.064965 femtofarad now grouping this perimeter answer along with the area we'll be getting in final as the drain to bulk capacitance at vdd equal to 1 volt will be equal to as into cjbd plus ps into cjbd sw plus ps into cjbd swg now these two things we have a common answer and for this we have one answer so the final answer by adding both 0 0.031192 femtofarad plus 0 0.064965 femtofarad the final answer is equal to therefore cdb at 1 volt was equal to 0 0.076 femtofarad so this is the final answer at 1 volt for drain to bulk capacitance hope you all might have got some insight on how to solve problem based on diffusion capacitance model thank you all for watching this video through electronics insight channel